obviously I think a lot about Groupon and, and I think the thing that's really interesting about it is really capitalizing on a trend that's been going on in social media for a while now. You used to surf the web, didn't you? And mm -hmm. you used to do it anonymously. Now the web surfs you because you've put your identity on the web. And now it's about things. So things like Pinterest and Groupon. So, so talk about what you're most excited about now in terms of your companies or your, your trends that you're following. You know, the trend I, I'm most interested in, tell me, is the fact that there's without a doubt due to social commerce, without a doubt due to social identity and so forth, that there is a much lower acquisition cost for merchants to acquire customers. There's a company in New York we're looking hard at called Single Platform that does just that and uh, uh, basically says, hey, Mr. Merchant, we'll handle all the so social advertising for you as a service and bring you customers at a lower cost than you've ever had before. Is there any other exciting trends you think we should look out for? You know, while everyone's talking about how cloud processing uh, is, is really an opportunity, the truth is cloud storage is a massive opportunity too, and maybe even a bigger one, because processing is reusable. But you know probably from your own experience, storage is not. It's a consume. It's something that's consumed, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And the beauty of that means is that as a as a vendor in that space, you can really you continue to sell year over year over year to the, the to your customers as they consume their storage. So things like Fusion IO that's public that Scott Sandell did, or things like Solid Fire that it's in uh, Boulder, Colorado that really enables cloud storage uh, for both uh, for the companies like Rackspaces of the world are really huge opportunities that I'm excited about. And you may even see it in, thing, in areas like switching and to really compete with companies like Cisco. NYSERA is one like that. Mm -hmm. So I think the cloud infrastructure sure is important, but, but it's really looking under the social applications and, and how they've had to adapt their infrastructures. And those are early indicators for what the enterprise is going to do. Can you talk about a deal that you missed that you wish you had done? Sure. Uh, um, we've been very good investors in the big data area. Uh, we've done companies like MapR or Vertica or Pentaho. But there was one company that we had a good look at very early on called Tengen uh, that runs the uh, database MongoDB. And they've done a really good job evolving that business. When we looked at that business, it was infrastructure as a service. But what they really did was they evolved around the database within that infrastructure. Uh, Dwight Merriman did just, just did a phenomenal job and really turn it into the, the, the largest and most adopted NoSQL database. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's turned out to be a really big trend, arguably bigger than the trend that drove MySQL uh, because MongoDB is pretty differentiated and it's a great product for developers and uh, we think it has a real chance to disrupt the database space in general and it's one we missed. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, we still respect the team a lot.